Hi guys, welcome to a Java programming tutorial series where I am going to try to show you how to create uh, PDF documents with a programming language. Um, so, I'll just get started quickly. For To do those PDF documents, we can use a library from the internet. So if you just open up Google, uh, you can search for uh, something that's called iText and maybe put a Java behind there. So look up iText Java, then just click on the first link. Of course I'll also put the link in the description. And then if you go down to the community, it says the iText library is free software, blah blah blah. And then you can download the iText library right here. And then just click on the <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> ah, had a sore throat. And then just click on the first link, which says download iText, the Java version of the library. If we click on that, you'll see there's a little window coming up. And uh, then click on the download iText 5.3.5 link. Of course, if there are newer versions, it's going to be a different number, but for now it's 5.3.5. .5. Then it's going to be a zip file, and I'm going to save it. And I'll just wait until it's finished downloading the zip file. Uh, and while it is loading, I'll open up Eclipse. If you don't know what Eclipse is, uh, I highly recommend watching other tutorials which show you uh, what Eclipse is and how to install it because I'm not going to do that in this tutorial. So this one is going to be just about the iText the library and PDF documents. And so in Eclipse I'm going to right click into the Package Explorer and I'm going to say New Java Project and I'm going to name my project, uh, I'll just name it PDF, which stands for PDF Documents. Oh yeah! So my document has finished, or the zip file has finished downloading. Uh, I'll just unzip it. And then once it has unzipped it, you can see there is a lot of junk in my downloads folder. But inside the iText folder, you can see there are multiple jar, uh, jar files. And the only jar file that we are going to need is the iText PDF 5.3.5.jar file. So uh, for now, we don't need all of those. We're just going to need this one. And to put this jar file in our project, we have to right click on it and say uh, build path, go to add external archives, and then in there, just look for your, uh, uh, for the iText folder, which is, um, oh god, I have to delete some of the files. <laughs> I can't find it. Um, where did I put it? Okay, Macintosh, Felix, and okay, downloads. Then somewhere in there is my iText folder. There it is. Okay, double click on it. And so we're just gonna need the iText PDF 5.3.5.jar file. All right, and then just click on open. And so now the library is going to be imported into your project and if you just expand this package you can see there's now a package called com.itextpdf and if you expand that there is another route which says awt and text and most of our stuff is going to be in the text uh, text 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 mm, route so all right, now that we have our jar file imported in our PDF project, let's create our first class. Uh, you can also create your own package if you want to. 
I won't do it here, I'll just create a class and I'll just call it PDF. And uh, that's basically it for the intro. Um, so I'm gonna stop recording here and start coding in the next tutorial. So until then, thanks for watching and see you soon again. Bye.